Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a formula to multiple cells, be that in a column or in a row or within a table. We're going to look at various different methods to achieve this. I'm going to start off with some simple methods that will probably suit most people. So here's my scenario, very simple calculation. I just need to work out the difference between these two years sales. And then I want to be able to copy this down into the rest of the column. Now, the simplest way is to use the fill handle, which is this little square that appears bottom right of your selection. And you'll notice that when I place my mouse pointer over it, the mouse pointer changes from a fat white cross to a thin black cross. If I double click there, it copies the formula down as far as there are adjacent cells. If I undo that, this method doesn't work if you have a blank column. In this case, what you need to do is to drag that fill handle down. So I place my mouse pointer over again, black, thin cross, hold down my left mouse button, drag all the way down and then let go. And that will copy the formula. Now for most people that suffices, but let's go on and look at some other options. Now, another method would be to select all the cells that you want the formula to be entered in. You'll notice that when you start typing, it types into the first cell that you've selected. That's the active cell. We type in our formula. And then instead of pressing enter, we use the key combination control enter. And that copies the formula into all your selected cells. Another shortcut you can use if you just select one cell with this method type your formula in then select that cell and all the cells that you're going to copy to and use the shortcut key control d if you're copying down a column it'll also work across columns so if i select that cell and all the cells to the right control r to copy to the right. These methods work really well if you're just copying down one column or across one row. What if you have a whole table? Well, for this, I'd probably use the control enter method. So what I'd do is I'd select all the cells. I'd type my formula. Here I need to give a 3% discount on this product price. So I'd say N2 times one minus the discount. And we need to fix some references here. The product prices are all in row two, so I fix the two, and the discounts are all in column M, so I fix the M, using F4 there to put the dollars in. And then once I've got the formula there, I do Control Enter, and you see it copies it to all the selected cells. Okay, let's move on to the next method with Excel tables. Now with this method, we're going to house our data within an Excel table. To do that, click in any cell, within the data and use the shortcut key control T. It'll throw up this little dialog box, which just confirms the range of cells that you're going to house in your table. And also you have to say whether you already have headers. I do, so I'll click on OK. If I go over here and I type my formula, you'll notice that the syntax used is slightly different. And I press enter, it automatically copies the formula down for me. So that's great if you have a very large table with many rows. Let's move on to the final example using dynamic arrays. Now, this method will only work in Excel 365. And what we would do here is equals all of these cells minus all of these cells. And then when I press enter, it spills the results into the cells underneath. Now with this method, the formula resides in this cell that we wrote it in, and it can't be edited within the cells underneath. You'll see that none of these cells appear to contain the formula. All the editing of the formula has to be done in this original cell. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully it's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.